When a local author wrote a Christmas story about bullying 48 years ago, he may not have realized the message and the impact that this story would have had all these years later. But his children have carried on his legacy and they've published a book, The Tale of the Sad Little Elf. Julie Bollier has our story. It's a Christmas message about bullying written more than 50 years ago by a local baker, a father of nine children, a parishioner at Sacred Heart Parish, and a lifelong supporter of the Springfield Boys and Girls Club, Christopher Gallagher Sr. This past year, his daughter Sue had her father's poem published as a children's book, The Tale of the Sad Little Elf. Carol shared in her friend's excitement and believes Gallagher's poem has something to offer the children of today. What astounded me was, you know, bullying has been in the, in the news so prevalent now. And when you read the book, here's a man that had all that insight years ago about this poor little guy that was all by himself. It was quite, quite nice to read the book and see that even back then there was a man that really cared and was compassionate and didn't want this little guy to be all alone. Since Gallagher first wrote the poem, it has been a tradition to read and share the elf story with family each December. Recalls his great-grandson, Brendan Baruby, as he shares the book with his grandma Sue and little brother Aiden. This book was like kind of like a tribute to all of his kids and grandchildren. Kind of, it's kind of been a tradition going on ever since I can remember being a little like someone always reads it at our like annual Christmas party. So it's just a, a great story and it's a great Christmas story. He worked, he sang and danced about. He played and smiled all day because he knew things worked out the God-like Christian way. The message in the book, I'm not surprised because my dad always felt for the underdog. And that's why he sent all the kids to the Girls and Boys Club too, to be able to get along with everyone. That's why Gallagher's kids continue to give back to the Boys and Girls Club, says her brother, Marty Gallagher. And when we came to Springfield, we found that there was a Springfield Boys and Girls Club, and thank God that there was. It was all about community and, and unity and different backgrounds that people had in those communities and how unified we became as families and how we helped one another out. And my brother Tommy, who Bright Nights, this trip is named after, came up with the idea of taking the kids to Bright Nights on buses and doing some things. And we provide a clothing, warm clothing and toys and things like that. And we've been doing that for about 14 years now. After pizza and a warm drink, kids board the buses for a ride through Bright Nights at Forest Park in Springfield. I saw pretty lights and I saw a a Dr. Seuss place where you get to see the Dr. Seuss stuff, like you get to see Dr. Seuss the Grinch. You better watch out, you better watch out. Christopher Gallagher taught his nine children valuable life lessons about caring, being kind to others, and helping kids. Although he has passed on, his stories and his kind deeds will continue to set an example for generations to come. For more information on the tale of the sad little elf, see the Catholic Mirror or go to iobserve.org. Reporting for Real to Real, this is Julie Bollier.